Welcome back to Force Education. This is that today I'm going to be talking about NECA holdings and corporations going with the ticker NECA. Now, I'm, I split this video into a quick due diligence or a quick insight into the company itself and then followed by technical analysis. I would do recommend that you watch both parts of the video, uh, but if you'd like to skip towards technical analysis, you can find that link or exact moments in the description below or in tech or in the comment pinned down let's jump right into it so neaca holdings now what i did was i quickly went on their website try to get more information apparently their website is just one page here uh with an email that doesn't really well it does open up but doesn't really give you more information other than just the email itself and the website once you click on it it just kind of refreshes so i had to dig a little bit further into it and from what I saw is, well, it is an OTC. It's known as New America Energy Core. Title King is a big part of it. New American Energy Core is acting as a holding company, focuses on the acquisition of cash flow positive companies, and ECA Holdings will target synergetic and opportunistic acquisitions. The company currently owns the Title King, which has developed it best title deal application and ECA holdings is committed to growth by expansion of its subsidiaries and strategic acquisition of additional businesses currently in terms of market cap they have around 39 million with around shares out of 4.7 billion shares now quickly moving on we try to find a little bit of the latest news now on the OTC page in terms of news Things are looking way outdated back in 2018, but luckily I was able to actually find um, a bit more SEC filings relating to disclosure for all the active ones here going somewhere around the 23rd of December um, back to 15th. A lot of different uh, quarterly filings have been filed, so we get to see a little bit of the report. Now, Title King here, it doesn't seem to be actually coming in out of the blue or NECA. It looks like it's actually coming back more off as a revival as this company did exist at some point under New American Energy Core under the same development for Title King under the same kind of ticker. So this was a way old uh, financial report going back to 2018. So we're going to miss that on uh, just a quick thing. They do have around $7 billion of authorized common shares of which 4.73 billions uh, are issued already and outstanding as of the date they're off. So there are 51 series A preferred shares authorized of which 51 are issued and outstanding. So we can expect, well, of course, they do have a massive shelf. And that is something very common for OTCs. Current assets currently, if you're looking at August 31st, uh, 2020, compared to 2019, year on year, what you have is, uh, I don't see this one as in thousands. It doesn't mention it. I'll be surprised if that is just the plain number, but it looks like it might be. Their current assets is around $7,533, with cash and cash equivalent of $327. Things aren't looking that great when you look back into August 31st, 2020. Now, I did try to go on on the last reporting, and that is the one we're talking about. We don't see one for September, but $327 is a little bit ridiculous for total ass for cash and cash equivalent in terms of total assets 7,533 year on year that's 35,000 still not equivalent total liabilities is 3.637 million dollars compared to 2.87 from the last year on main thing is loans notes the list goes on and it's a little bit scary but you know it's we're gonna move on from there Revenues, we're looking year on year at 1,760 currently in terms of total revenue from last year of 6,566. Now, in terms of total operating expenses, they have around $439,000 compared to $348,000 or $349,000 last year. So balance sheets are complete rubbish in my opinion, but you know what? We'll keep keeping an open mind. We'll continue on to the end of the video. Now, in the 12 months ending, things are looking different. They're basically almost exactly the same. And I did try to see, well, what is this best title app? What, where does it exist? And so I looked it up and we have two locations. It is on as we expect the Apple store, which is this one right here. Now, 
First off, I find that there's only three ratings on it and a rating of 2.3. So I got really intrigued because you would think, well, this app that the stock is has in millions of a market cap, something around $38 million in market cap, it gotta be something solid. So I did. And well, the two things, the two different comments I have are from 2016. One of them says excellent AAA plus 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 plus. Um, and this one here, this this guy says the business is a scam. It's back in 2016. The CEO is a scam artist. His stock at ECA has been pumped by him in the last months. It promises that turned out to be outright lies. He started that he stated that he was reducing the shares, where in fact he just diluted shares by 240 million. The app is business practice should be pulled. By the app, uh, by the Apple ASAP, it is a scam. So best title deal. Uh, the platform itself looks very, I mean, basic. I don't have an Apple device to check this on, but I also did try to go actually on uh, Google here, and you can actually actually get it on Play Store, and so that's what I tried to do, and it was actually removed from Play Store. So that is something interesting. So I went back and tried to get the, the website itself. Best title deal. And that loads you to a picture that is static and there's nothing to click on here. Anyway, keep an open mind. We're going to say this one here is straight out. It's a shell company with the latest news of new American Energy Core announces corporate update on the company's application and the next location. So basically they are right here application best title is live on google app store now here we'll you know what we'll try once more here we're gonna search it up and i don't see any okay quickly here we'll go back to apps maybe maybe something's wrong and i don't see it so i'm not sure exactly where live it is but yeah sure it is live on the app store with three ratings and okay so it is live on google app store can't find it and anticipates final approval on the apple store at any moment i'm not sure if they mix these two up but okay we're, we're gonna continue with that um and basically management has reached out it's previously announced promotion partner now this was way 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 back this was back in 2018 and so that is a, one of the latest SEC filings, but it was not this since it was actually on the app store. It's actually been removed and all that stuff. But I want to look back into the history. That is major, right? I believe 2018 is going to be an exciting year for Title King as we finally launch our app promotion with our partners and potentially opening a second location. Once the app is finally launched, the company will immediately push forward for our plans for a new and exciting fintech direction. We believe will add value to all our shareholders. So things are weird, um, I'm going to admit. Uh, of course, they have their Twitter here for Title King Loans. So apparently they do offer some kind of loans where they do actually also pronounce your as you are. And um, 2019 is now complete back in 2020. So you know what? Things are a little bit weird for this one here. It is not doesn't look really for me as that level of proficiency that we're looking for i know this has been bashing so we know what we're, we're gonna skip out from all this massive well kind of direction off the dd and let's jump right into technical analysis if you haven't done so please make sure you subscribe i try to get you uh pump free information so some of this might actually offend some of these people but i am calling it as it is and i hope that is the material you would like to see now technical analysis because hey you might be saying well add you know, even if it's a pump and dump, can I make money out of it? Well, sure. Let's take a quick look on technical analysis. One week perspective, things looking really bullish. The momentum is around 0 0.01. ADX is stable, but it's still above 40, below 50. So that's good. William percent R is somewhere around neutral. MACD looks like it's actually bullish and increasing. The moving averages are all straight out bullish. And 10 SMA is above 30 MA, 50 SMA is above 200 SMA, and the right colors are right above each other, so they're all good. Now, on the one-day perspective, things look a little bit interesting. Momentum has dipped. 
ADX says you might want to sell because above 50, that's where negative reversals are likely. And the MACD, even though it got rejected the first time on a negative reversal, it is attempting a second reversal now after this push. As you can get to see, the MACD histogram is declining again. William percent R is sitting somewhere around neutral. Moving averages are still very bullish. And the trading action zone where positive reversals are likely are between 0.006 cents and 0.004 cents. Within those two directions, you can expect positive reversals, even though I definitely think if it does dip around there, something around so similar to this might actually happen and see a small bounce. That, that is all speculation. So we need to look into a two hour perspective. Things looking a little bit interesting. MACD is actually amid going towards the negative reversal. It's already starting. Moving averages are still bullish. It's in the trading action zone below the 0.007. If it does break, I don't think it's going to survive the one day trading action zone. But right now, it's attempting to reverse on the trading action zone on the one day, on the two hour perspective. Moving averages expect this one to trade 0.004 cent on the top and 0.0033 at the middle oh sorry at the bottom now stochastic fast and stochastic slow is showing that this one is actually very likely to start dipping down very closely the both they're all pointing almost downwards so that is a very dangerous sign now fibonacci retracement shows the supports and resistances the current support sits at 0.0074 followed by 0.006, followed by 0.0046, and 0.0028. Significant resistances sit at 0.0094 and 0.012. Now, quickly trying to determine in the last month, um, we can go on with a one-hour based significant supports and resistances. So, one of the significant supports we're seeing is at the 0.0080 level and then 0 0.0074 and then at 0 0.0065 then down to the 0 0.0059 and then down to 0 0.0046 i'd say and then down to 0 0.0036 and a very very strong one if it does break this one it might be in big trouble 0 0.0024 significant resistances are a few handful 0 0.0092 and then you got another one at the 0 0.0101 and then up to 0 0.0108. Now, it comes a big question to add, what do you think is going to happen with this one? And would you invest in this one? Invest? No. It's a special acquisition OTC. There's a lot of them that are uplisted on NYSE and NASDAQ. And a lot of different companies can just easily not need that special acquisition. And for total assets off, around four thousand uh, dollars in terms in general with around a few hundred bucks in cash uh, that is ridiculous for me an app or not the app looks sketchy it's been taken off google play it is on apple store sure but really has three reviews which are one of them is a negative one one is just more of a generic aa plus 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 sure go on buy but it's the and I'm feeling I'm having a lot of feelings about this one, and I really think it's it's all the rumors about special acquisitions and whatnot, and it's that hype, and it's just riding that wave. I do think this is more of a bump and dump. Do I think in technical analysis will it see another run? It is highly likely, but I think a pullback is coming, and probably for some reason, it's probably going to start flying again with all the massive hype around it. Even though I think it's unwarranted for, in my opinion. What do you think about the sticker? Make sure to mention it down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like. You have a wonderful day.